The intensity of Fan Fest, without question, one of the shows of the year. We were going to tell you about the Nets pre preview in the month of June. We might have to wait out for that. God, I'm exhausted. We're far from done. This is not Mr. Title in the Bank. I'm going to dominate it all. It ain't nothing anybody can do about it. It's going to be me. This guy, you know what? Forget calling Revolution Wrestling. Let's call this for Jesus Wrestling now. For any of you that missed it, he came out here with some brass nuts earlier and laid into Lex Rocker. Oh, they voted. The Jesus was voted. He brought the string. He's, he's convinced that it's a one arm behind Phoenix's back. Some fans have hashtag give for Jesus a chance. Some fans are self-admitted bejesalos and consider Apocalypse the Streeter screw job. Totally overlooking the fact that Kyle Cash intervened, thinking he was entitled to Van Fest and a shot at the Revolution title. That did not happen. Exactly. Bejesus is completely convinced that the fans voted for a one-arm match. I know for a fact, Psycho Joe. Regardless of the, the regardless of the three count that was overturned by Houston, the end of the day, but Jesus remained winless, and to this moment remains winless over Brian Phoenix. Zero up, five down. Lifetime. the biggest team. Especially when you're talking about Bejesus, one of the smallest dogs in all of Revolution. All fans respect him. And you want to know the irony, Psycho Joe? What's that, Steve? Bejesus has quoted the Sermon of Rusted Burbank. Touch the sun once and you get burnt. The sun is literally out. What happens when you touch a phoenix? touch the sun, then what happens when Bejesus touches the phoenix? Every time it's happened, he is lost. Phoenix like the sun indeed rises. In mere moments, we'll hear the official stipulation of the match, which could determine who gets the advantage even before the bell rings. Houston chose a street fight, but Jesus chose tying one arm behind Phoenix's back. Phoenix chose two words, five letters, I quit. With the introductions, Pip and Pablo. Ladies and gentlemen, to my left, the challenger. Whoa, whoa. Hey. First off, you've been ruining my intro every time I come to the ring, so let me show you how it, you do it right. Ladies and gentlemen, standing at 8 feet 5, really? 525 pounds, what? Really? your future revolution wrestling champion, Bar Jesus! 8 foot 5? 500, over 500 pounds. I don't believe that. Our revolution heavyweight champion, Brian Phoenix! I think Bejesus has a little case of the Crash Hollies. And this was, in this was a fan vote match. What's your vote for? According to you fans, you won. And I quit now. Oh! You heard it, ladies and gentlemen. The votes are in.
And it's an I quit match between Ryan Phoenix and Jesus. OAB would not be happy with that result. But Brian Phoenix is, and it could be the finality. But Jesus with a tie about. Oh, he's getting one hand tied by well, his Wait, now he's gonna try and force you it. You know as well as I do, in an I quit match, there's only one way to win, Skeeter. God. He has to make his opponent say, I quit. Otherwise, there ain't a single rule in this match. And we saw an I quit match last year with old rivals, Jimmy Jack Daniels. And let's rock her. Looks like we might see a one-off match anyway. But Jesus is trying to tie, trying to ensure option B. He's hitting that arm. And you know what? You know what I noticed? What arm is that? That is his right. Yes, that is indeed his right. And we know the history of that particular shoulder. Yes. So honestly, do you think that's a that's a, a, a bad hindsight move? It, it, on, it the, uh, I think physically and psych psychologically, but Jesus has the advantage. Remember two weeks ago at Adrenaline, he re-aggravated the injury Phoenix suffered at Apocalypse in their match to that right knee, the back right knee and ankle. But Jesus still gets what he wants. But Jesus still gets what he wants. We report on the Revolution report. As well, as we found out earlier today, Brian Phoenix is wrestling, refusing without doctor's orders. Look at this, look at this. He's doing for a test of strength. Phoenix has one arm. Brian Phoenix still. Ah, but Jesus is using that free hand. But Jesus is using that free hand. He's gonna gain the power advantage because of this. The bell finally rang. Got a clothesline there from Jesus. Kick to the midsection to Phoenix. There's not really much else he can do. You may very well be having to pick up the legwork to matchup as far as commentating goes. This day has been exhilarating. Starting early on, going through Paul London, William Thomas in the ring, officiating. We had to ask him. Match for the biggest prize in our company. He's got to ask him, Skeeter. Only way either one of these men are going to answer the beck and call, and that's to say I quit. He's trying to get out of it. But Jesus doesn't want to lose this. Phoenix certainly doesn't want to lose. And but Jesus, backdrop to the outside. Phoenix trying to tie. Wait, he has scissors. Phoenix trying to snip his way to freedom. He does. Oh, now he's got the other arm. But Jesus should have paid attention. He noticed. But Jesus rushed into the stands. Oh! Too late, it's a weapon. They're taking it to the Got outside. Some right hands from Phoenix here. We're gonna have to watch out. But Jesus and Phoenix slugfesting it for the third straight free purview. Just so everybody knows, the ref is there for one reason and one reason only. To see if somebody quits. He has the microphone in his hand. The only way fans are gonna be able to hear those two words, five letters, as oh, the whoa, Gordon Sully would say. What is the Jesus doing here? Real chair being sent into the corner. Good. Hip reversal throws. Denied. Jesus goes into the non-chair corner. Close line with authority. And a bulldog for Phoenix as well. Ah, ask him. But Jesus, do you quit? No, no. Ah. But hey, Jesus, you heard it yourself. Jesus does not quit yet. I'm sorry, I thought I heard. Ha ha! Suplex. Beautiful vertical suplex there by Brian Phoenix. Tell you what, I am getting sunburned. You ain't the only one. I just hit tan. Oh, wow. I hit tan really a long time ago. But Jesus, do you quit? No, never. Last year, when it was Jimmy Jack and Rocker, we saw a new Unbreakable Champion in this matchup. 
the I Quit Showdown. Phoenix trying to take advantage of the very same rope used to sabotage him just moments ago. Got some right hands here by Phoenix. Oh, but Jesus with a top lock and goes after the knee. The knee and the ankle almost tripped him tight on the bank. Oh, just bouncing that ankle off the apron. That's the one that got aggravated at Apocalypse. Injured. And he just bashed away at that same leg. He's pulling up that freaking knee pad. He's exposing the knee. That'll give him an advantage. Is that tape he's ripping off? I think so. Oh, he's exposing the whole thing. That might be the tape that was keeping Phoenix's knee together. Oh, no. Yeah, that knee is fully exposed now, Skeeter. And he, and Vegetas is wrenching the hell out of him. Oh, no. No. He's just wrenching that knee. I hate to say it, but this is a smart move by Vegetas. Incredibly smart move. Brian Phoenix trying to fight out of it. Out of it. It's going to be hard, so. Oh, he got a kick out. Kicks Vegetas off. And now Jesus again going to keep Phoenix grounded, stopping away the knee. Yeah, he's one or right both of them. Well, yeah. The right one, the correct one. Either one. Really hard to tell. We stated it earlier, but Jesus is flat out paranoid, and that the rope break is not going to count. Phoenix! Don't quit! is being very smart here. Oh no! He's wrenching that knee. He's utilizing the weakness of Brian Phoenix. And that's the only way thought, he's gonna win with his track. Record. I almost thought I heard I heard Phoenix say a little splattering of an eye. That's not the way the match will end though. It's I quit. Phoenix gets the ropes. He'll need them for leverage. But but Jesus. Continues to no. again. But Jesus is still wrenching that And he lets knee. go. He's going to have to do more. He's going to have to pull out a few quote-unquote checkers out of the playbook. He's going to have to do something because Phoenix just keeps getting back up if over not, and over again. If not for the cash interference and can't whip him into the far ropes. Jesus over there taunting the champion. Phoenix has never said die. But will he say I quit? That's the question. I'm not sure about that either. I've never heard him say I quit. I've never heard Jesus say that he quits. Well, there's a first time for everything in this match. And now gonna choke him out. He's choking Phoenix with this rope here. Phoenix, do you quit? He coughed. That doesn't count. Oh, he says no. Somehow he, he squeezes out a no. But Jesus needs to quit choking him because that's a cheating one. Oh. Yeah, oh, I, you said that's how you I hate oh, this. No. Oh, oh no. You're trying to get to go back to. He's gonna, oh, is he going to do what I think he's going to do? Oh, oh, figure four. Twisting and turning a figure four oh, against the corner. Yeah. Oh. Jesus has got a figure four. Oh. Phoenix is oh. the post. God, you can hear the scream of anguish. He still said no, though, Skeeter. He still said no. Phoenix is not going down without a fight. Phoenix, the one less in a fight. It's over. Cat mouse. But Jesus claiming that it's over. Yeah, but he's got to make him submit. There's no amount of tapping that'll get it, get Phoenix out of this, though. You know that. Some fans have weapons right now already preparing for the main event. Keep stealing seats from the crowd. Oh. Attacking the knee again. 
right, going back to what has brought him to this point. But Jesus has dominated most of this match due to the knee and the arm behind the back. I mean, paranoid and paranoia infused. To really think about it, that's what's got him the last couple times. V factor. It is. It is what's got him the last few times. You know what? But the Jesus deal keeps coming back for more. I gotta. We gotta give him something for that, right? I don't think so. Not with the way he's had his little oh, whining no. and moaning oh. episodes. Wait, for Jesus! Oh. Oh. Ryan Phoenix fight now, finally. Hit in this turnbuckle. Oh. oh, the elbow pad comes off. Both of them. Got some shots here. Right hands, Phoenix in for Jesus. Now just for Jesus. Once a self-professed VC double V oh, champion, no. Look, Phoenix! Phoenix has got him. He's favoring that left though. Oh, oh. oh North Valley driver. But how much did that give out his knee? That had to take a lot out of him. That knee's been worked on almost this entire match, Skeeter. But Jesus O's around the world here, especially in Streeter. Whichever ones are insistent here. Whoa! But Jesus! Ankle lock! He does! Phoenix, do you do it? No! Ankle lock! How is he doing it? How is he doing it, Skeeter? I'm not sure, but he's got a long crawl of the ropes, so. Phoenix needs to kick out again, but. Oh, jeez. Right, oh, oh. oh! Jesus bounces his face off the chair. But Jesus hits the chair. And it. He doomed himself because he's the one that put it there. Like we've seen most days. No disqualifications, no count outs. Once again, no pinfalls. Once again, Skeeter, but Jesus might be the creator of the Soul Divides. Who knows? And ironically, with the sun out, sunset in the sky. But Jesus! Oh, oh into the chair it. again, and Phoenix has a target. Phoenix and driving that right shoulder of Jesus. Either I saw face paint or I saw blood. One of the two. Is the Phoenix gonna fly? Does his knee have enough in it? With chair on arm. Phoenix wants to unarm the Jesus. Let's go! Oh. And he hits it. What at what cost? Brian Phoenix is fired up. The Phoenix is rising yet again. What do you say, Jesus? I'll never quit. I'll never. But Jesus won't quit. But Jesus clothesline, short on variety. Looks like Phoenix is starting to set the pace finally. And a second one. But he's still limping around, guys. The biggest Let's prize. Let's go, Brian. And revved up. Some of these fans trying to get behind the reigning champion, but it is tense moments. If not for this match, then for what's upcoming with Cash and Snake. Phoenix using that same leg that Jesus has been working on all match long. That could not have felt good for either man. Just curious, have you gotten full? No. <laughs> really? Let me see that bag. Holy criminy. I'm savoring it. Another Illinois Valley driver. The IVD. I'm savoring it because we still got a main event. Well, what do you say to Jesus? No, never. But Jesus won't quit. Still will not give up for anything. Yes. Neither of these yes. men want to quit. Yes. Look yes. at where. No! Take it! This is dark even for Phoenix! Phoenix. Say do I break your soul there! Never! Oh no! Uh, is Phoenix about to? Oh no! Oh no! Phoenix couldn't. Never! He's got a chair. No way! Phoenix stop! That was a warning! Say it! Oh, you only have one arm. Never! Never! But Jesus not quitting. He, no. he, he's... Will, is Phoenix really going to do this? The second time around. 
Is he really going to do this? Okay. Hey, quit! Adidas just quit! Adidas just quit! Brian Phoenix remains champion! Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still Revolution champion, Brian Phoenix! I don't know. Look on Phoenix's face. I'm pretty sure he thought he had to break Vegeta's arm. That's why Vegeta's probably needed his arm. But Jesus once again defeated by Phoenix! Decimation. Brian Phoenix wins. I thought for sure Phoenix was gonna break his arm, Skeeter. I quit. He had the momentum with the fan boat. Wait. Wait, but Jesus coming in the ring now with Case and Toe. I don't think he can pass it in. Yeah, it's not rightfully his. How can he possibly do that? He took that contract from Rocker earlier on in the show. And Rocker stated he would pass in on his friend. Rocker's hell bent. <laughs> Rocker's hell bent on getting back what's rightfully his. And Vegeta's running for the hill. Respectful applause by Brian Phoenix for Ryan Phoenix. By the revolution. Ladies and gentlemen, Phoenix regains his title by making Looks like Brian Phoenix is on his way to our next free preview show in the month of June, Golden Opportunity. That comes your way on June 20th from here at Safe Haven. Coming up next, we'll answer one more question. Will Prodigy Snake be a part of this roster, this company, come June 20th? He has a chance for reinstatement against the superstar. somebody else. The prodigal son, Kyle Cash, who thinks he has a title shot at Geo entitled in his name. The most important part? You, the revolution faithful here at Safe Haven, get the opportunity and have had the opportunity for almost four weeks to bring the weapons. Thank you. They Thank will be brought. Out, they have been brought. One more match. Thank Snake you, and Cash, the rematch. Nuts from Safe Haven.